They said, if the toad in front falls into a hole, the ones behind, they take caution. With that, I say, good morning, good afternoon, TV. and good evening. We are Global this and Social Commentator. We collaborate with any expose. This is the part seven. A no to Asun Igodaro is a no to Governor Godwin Obaseki. A no to Governor Godwin Obaseki is a no to Asun Igodaro. Why do we have to say no to Asun Igodaro? I will tell you the reason why. Do you know that Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State, is asking the former governor, where is the 10 billion that you said you have built to build an imaginary airport? And the governor is not resting. He has said that he's going to collect that money. Is it that the ex-governor shows him where the airport is or pay back that money? Is that thing good or bad? Personally, we think it's good. It's good. Because public funds should be used for public good. Peter, Obi, these are public money. So why should he build an imaginary airport? Is it that you show us that airport or... You pay back ten billion dollars that you said you used for the airport. Let's come back, Yaya Belo of Kogi State. You know the FCC is after him. It was even alleged that he paid the school fees of his children from a public purse. The school fees that have not even due, he pays it in arrear. Remember what Peter Obi said. Public funds should be used for public good. Is your children a public property? Why will you take money from the state boss, a state like Kogi State that is so poor, to pay for your children's school fees in Aria? Now, see why we are saying a no to Aswen Igodaro is a no to Governor Godwin Obaseki. I've just posted something there. That is how much a new state is owing. Over 300 million dollars is the debt that those state is owing the question we are asking is if governor godwin obaseki borrowed this money what did he use it for if for eight years he has done nothing for eight years he has done nothing and he has incurred over 300 million dollars debt there are two things obaseki is not stupid Obaseki is not a fool. He will not take this no, money. No, 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 borrow no, this no, money. No. And I allegedly believe that Obaseki is keeping that money somewhere. What has he done? Nothing. He has not done hospitals. In fact, Obaseki destroyed the only hospital that we'll have to put in a museum. Destroy the only library that we'll have to put in a shop right. A lot of people are saying this is a man who has he who have done a financial mismanagement. But how can you mismanage over 300 million dollars? When you claim that you are a technocrat? No, 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 no. He has that money put in somewhere. And that is why we are asking that it should be no to Aswen Igodaro. Why? Because Aswen Igodaro is his paddy paddy. He is the one bringing in Aswen Igodaro. And do you think Ask when Igodaro will ask him to pay back that money? Do you, with your right senses, think that when Ask when Igodaro comes in, he will tell Godwin, you have to pay back the state fund that you have misused or that you cannot account for? Do you think that? No. If Ask when Igodaro comes in, all the financial mismanagement, all the financial abuses, all the financial transaction that Obaseki have used public funds for his own personal good will have been lost. We will not get it back. And I don't forget, Edo State is a very poor state. All the money that was misused, non-use, a mismanagement, shortfalls, we need all the money back. And the only way we will get all the money back is if we get a governor that is not Aswen Igodaro. A lot of people have told us that there's a lot of people contesting. Fine. But I, in the TV, we are opting for Osai Bobo Olumide Akbata. Because we know and we believe that he is the man 
that can do the job. I watched a documentary the other day. Was it, a, it was an interview. Pedro Obaseki's younger brother was dancing from one side to another, praising Aswin Igodaro. I was so disappointed, Dr. Pedro. I'm so disappointed in you. When you, a brother to Obaseki, could not even ginger Obaseki to be able to do a reasonable thing in the states. You were with him for eight years, although he did not give you any political position. But you were with him for eight years. You could have advised him. At least you said you are a doctor and I've listened to you talk intelligently. But how can you, how can you let yourself be used by Obaseki? And now you are running your mouth for Aswen Igodaro. Don't you see that you are a stomach infrastructure? Even PhD holders now have lost their senses. Pedro, shame to you. I repeat, shame to you. I will have think that you, as part of his government, will be able to ginger him. At least to be able to end well. But what has happened? Obaseki started by fighting Tony Kabaka. And he ended by fighting his deputy, Shaibu. So the question we are asking now is, how many people has he not fought? We cannot count those who he has fought. So many. The question we are asking about Seke is, how many people left that you have not fought? Very few. Even Dangote will land is no longer in favor of Obaseki. Remember, Dangote was one of those who swore that if Obaseki did not perform, he would draw his hair. But the truth of the matter is a dog that will go astray will not listen to his master's whistle. Obaseki has not listened to anybody. And that is why he has failed woefully. And now he's trying to bring somebody to protect him of the person of Aswen Igodaro to watch his back. We say no to Aswen Igodaro. We say no to Obaseki. Obaseki must be probed. He has to give his stewardship. He has to tell us how we incurred over 300 million dollar debts. What did he use it for? I didn't see no head facility that he, that he has done. No roads that he has successfully completed a dual carriage road in Benin City. When I spoke to a friend of mine who is from uh, Edo Central, he said we from the south are complaining that Obaseki did not do a significant thing. He said those of them from the north can swore that Obaseki did not even remember that there is a, a section of the state called Edo Central. Obaseki has long forgotten them. And that is why we are calling on you guys. Olumide Osagbo Akwata said that he's given a chance. He will make all the state his constituency Edo North, Edo Central, and Edo South. All the states will be his constituency. What does that mean? It means all the states will be where he will touch on, where he will work on. He has said that he will work on education. He will work on health, provide jobs, work on agriculture. So, why not we take this chance to vote for Olumide Osagbovo Apata? And above all, is coming from a Labour Party, a party that is new. There's this saying that new broom sweep better. And that's the more reason why we should seize the opportunity now to vote for Labour Party. Labour Party is like a new broom. They will sweep better. And apart from that, Peter Obi has said it, that if the head is not stealing, those following him will not steal. And Peter Obi has proven to us that he has not stolen. So, Lumide, Osagbo Akpata, we not stay. I leave the picture of Peter Obi and Olumide Akpata talking, discussing how to make Edo State better. Remember, Peter Obi is, is somebody that we cannot imagine. A governor for eight years left millions, millions of dollars on one account and also billions of naira in another account for the next governor to come. Why Obaseki, the next governor of Edo State, will have a debt of over $300 million. And yet, 
You want us to accept the man he's bringing? Like I told you before, this man is going to wash his back. This man's job is to come and wash his back, protect him. He knows him fully well. Now, after eight years, immunity has left him. The FCC might come after him. The KGB might come after him. The FBI might come after him. He needs to protect himself. And that is exactly what Aswen Igodaro has come to do. So, my brother, let's say those we get here, let them hear. This is your anchor man in the TV. If it's the first time you're coming across this channel, we'll ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload video, it comes directly to you. And for our returning subscribers, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, we love you, but God love you most. And as it is the culture in this channel, we'll catch you when we make the next video. Until then, we'll say chooks, ciao, adios, au revoir. Hasta la vista. Remember the name. Remember Labour Party. And they remember that what we preach here is good governance. And that is why Olumide Osaibovo Akpata is the name. Labour Party is the party. And in the TV is your transporter. We will forever be preaching good governance because we believe that one day we will have good people into government. Politics is not as bad as it is. And we, we've, we've seen a lot of country practicing the same democracy that we are practicing. The problem is when you have bad actors, definitely your politics will be dirty. You know why? Because it is people who are involved in politics. And that is why we keep saying that good people should please go into politics. Good people like Osai Bovo Olubi Akmata. He was in MBA for two years and there was a transform. There was a transformation. Just two years, it turned MBA around. So why won't it turn Edo State around? So my Edo people, Walao, Wagya Votine, Osaibovo, Olumide, Akpata. He is the man for the people. He is the man of the people. Why vote in Oyo? Bye bye. Those that have here, let them hear.